Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial which is not a tutorial exactly it's going to be more an advice uh, of something that happens to me uh, last week so I was working in a rig in Maya 2022 and I have to send it to a previous version which I didn't knew in that moment um, that it was going to be used in Maya 2019 and when I export it as a Maya ASCII, which is something that I usually do in Maya 2020, it works perfectly if I'm not using a specific nodes of the version of Maya. For example, in Maya 2020 I have matrices. If I don't use them, they are, the rig is going to work perfectly in previous version. Uh, but uh, in 2022 there is some huge uh, modifications of the deformers and some other um, parts of the rig that wasn't working at all in other versions so I'm going to show you how to save or recover uh, what you already did in case you have an emergency like I did last week so I'm just going to show you that this rig which is only a box because of NDA I'm just putting a simple cube uh, but that it this works Okay, and works fine. So, if I open the same uh, model in uh, 2019, it gives me a color management issue, another one, and it opens the rig. But when you move it, it doesn't work at all. Okay, if you go to the script editor, you will see a huge list of mistakes or errors for example the color management issue that is it says it hasn't it doesn't have the dot bn attribute then the joins with the vectors and ik handles doesn't have the opm and then blend shape and skin cluster and any other deformer probably doesn't have the or gg eom or something and these notes are completely necessary in previous versions of 2022 but in 2022 they are not that necessary uh, because they updated the system and now it's more it's, it's, it's just to make better performance so when you create the deformers or the IK handles they already doesn't have this and that's why it's not working in here so in order to fix this you have to go to settings preferences preferences go to animation and turn off the use component tax for the formation component subsets by default is on so if you turn it off it's going to uh, make maya to any anytime you create a uh, sorry a deformer is using these nodes okay so it's going to reduce the performance in Maya 2022, but it's going to work in previous versions. The problem is that if you already created the deformation with the check activated, like default, it's not going to fix anything. So you have to recreate the skin cluster and the blend chip again. That doesn't mean that you're going to lose all the job that you made in weight, weight painting or blend chips. You just have to, I mean, just save the scene in another one and copy skin weights from the previous one and just uh, import export the blend chips as uh, I think is BLS or something, the format of exporting and it's going to work okay. If you have wrapped deformers, well, you have to create them again and I'm not quite sure about the rest because I didn't use them. Um, and s also the handles they need to be uh, recreated again. Um, I did the skin cluster and the blend chip in 2022 with the check activated, but I did the handles in 2019 because it was going to use to be used in this version and it wasn't working pretty good and it was crashing a lot. Something else that wasn't working uh, nice was that I created um, Anim keys of animation, no, sorry, animation curves inside the rig for a stretchy because it was for video games, so I created it that way. And I had to remake that again 
that it was also attached to the IK handle so I had to make them again uh, in 2019 I didn't have to paint weights again I just copied them and also it was still causing troubles in crashing so I went to uh, optimize scene size mm -hmm, in here and then I went to remove news notes and then optimize now also into the hyper shade I went to delete the news notes and reduce remove all the stuff that I wasn't using and also my former boss used to teach me a trick that was anytime that your scene is crashing or causing troubles and you don't know what exactly is happening use dg30 in mail and usually it fix stuff and also I was testing with the um, profiler just creating a few animation keys with the hands and the legs and also the spine and start recording and then you hit play and it shows you if there is any dirty propagation in here there isn't any because there isn't any animation keys but if there's something like really big you need to take a look on that and maybe recreate anything uh, of that part and yeah so that's how you recover a rig in previous version uh, coming from 2022 or uh, next versions of Maya but uh, um, I mm, highly recommend not to do this because it's, it's quite problematic but if there is an emergency and you need to do it you already know so hope this helps and thanks for watching.